Here in Redford, Michigan, at the corner of Lazar and Grand River, you can find a theater, performing arts, good food, great coffee, all on one block. But there's one artisan shop where the creations are all about sight and smell. Welcome to Be In The City. Welcome to Be In The City. I'm your host, Brenda Williams. They say that you can't believe everything that you see and only half of what you hear, but I can guarantee you what you smell, you can trust because the nose knows. We're here at the Detroit Candle Company located on Grand River and Lazar, and we're here with the owner, Detroit's own candle lady, Tonette. Tonette, thank you for having us. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. Can you tell us some of the things that inspire your creations, your scents? My scents? Well, I do work with a perfumist, and they'll suggest to me what they think the fragrance should, the fragrance should be called. Like, for example, Monkey Farts. Monkey Farts was so funny to me, and it is my number one seller, so I went with the name Mon Monkey Farts because it's really silly. Opposed to Silly Rabbit, I named that one myself, and if you smell it, then you'll kind of understand why. So, just, so when did you get started making candles? Well. Ten years ago, I went to a local flea market and I purchased a strawberry candle just like the one that you see right behind you. And I took it home and I took it apart and then I decided that I wanted to put it back together and the rest is history. So speaking of history in the making, we're standing in front of a lot of deliciousness here, smelling some wonderful things. I know you all are so jealous because I can smell it. But if you could explain to us <laughs> what we're smelling all over here. Well, this is my candle couture line and I, I take high-end glassware and I turn it into a candle. So like, for instance, the trend right now is the peach Ciroc. So I made a peach Ciroc martini, if you will. I also have a pomegranate martini, apple martini, and then I do simple things like your wine glasses, champagne glasses. So it just, I mean, whatever the customer wants, I really try to provide. Bringing a whole new meaning to happy hour. Welcome back. We are here where the magic happens. So Tanette is going to show me how to put the C in candles. So tell me what I'm getting ready to do. Well, I've already prepped our area All prior right. to you coming, All but right. today we're going to make margaritas. Yum. Yum, yum. We love margaritas. So what I did um, prior to all of this stuff, we have to wash the, um, you know, get the handprints and fingerprints stuff off the glassware. We have mm -hmm. to wick it. So we just take a little bit of a I love it. Wicked. Wicked yeah. good. Wicked okay. good. Wicked good. We have right. Wicked. And then, believe it or not, I can't use sugar or salt for the rim, so I just use really coarse sand. So mm -hmm. that sand that um, I decided to use for the effect of the salt. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to go right over here. And I'm going to let you be the candle maker today. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so this good. smells so good. <laughs> here. <Ooh. laughs> so what we're going to do, carefully remove that pot. Okay. And then I want you to pour the gel wax okay. into the beaker. And I would say maybe stop right about right there. Okay. I think I could do that. Okay. Here it goes. Do I'm pouring. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm 
I'm pouring. Look at me. I'm pouring so good. Oh, oh, girl. Girl. Give, Give us some more. Give us some more. Give us some more. Pour it, girl. Take pour. It. Take it. Pour. Take it. Do it. Take it. Do it, girl. Take it. Do it. Take it. Do it. Take 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 it. We want all the bubbles out because it, you know, it takes kind of away from the look of this particular candle. Some candles we want bubbles like the beer, champagne, but this one we do not. I love champagne. So, okay. put this in here. All right. And we, you can just hit that button. And this is a vacuum. So, as you can see, it's still really tight. So, you see the bubbles rise to the top. You see the bubbles rise to the top. You can rise to the top. You can rise to the top. Okay. 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 So now everything's ready. Do you smell it? Mm. I scented it with apple. I know it's a margarita, but we're gonna scent. It. People like apple for whatever reason. It's an apple margarita. Yeah, apple margarita. There you go. Apple margarita. Apple apple margarita. Apple margarita. Okay. Wrong with that. So I'm gonna pour pour the first one. Okay. And then I can stop there, and then you can pour the next one. Okay. And you could probably use all of all of it. Yep. I'm okay. thinking I'm going to Good the last drop. Look at me. Making an apple reader. So apple. <laughs> Pour faster, girl. Okay. Okay, you can stop. Okay. So, oh, I'm sorry. That's how you get those gel boogers that we talked about. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we can put this over here. So now what we want to do is make sure that our wig. Good girl! I, I can think make you stand up did straight. You YouTube, did you Google this last night? I did. I think you did. So we want to just keep that up, and then once the gel starts to form, mm -hmm. the wicks will automatically stand up by themselves. Okay. So yours should be good. Okay. Yeah. So now we're going to make ice cubes. Ooh. Are you ready? All right. So I did this again for you already before you came, and what I did, I just took some of the same material that we mm -hmm. used, and I already took the bubbles out for you, so okay. I'm going to tear a piece of it off for you. Okay. It's going to feel really different. Mm-hmm. Like, mm -hmm. see? Yeah, I know. So what you do... You just want to do this to it. Just play with it. Just, just play with it. Just do this. Just on with it. Yep. Okay. Just do I'm, this to it. And okay, I'm, I'm on. Yep. Just, okay. just got to do it fast. Got to do it fast. Yep. Got to do it fast. And just keep. And as you manipulate it, it's going to okay. start to get cloudy, and then it'll look like crushed ice. So, and you just crushed ice. Yeah. Look at when I'm, I'm bored, ice. I just this is like knitting to me. I just mm -hmm. take gel and just it's like a stress apart. reliever. Yeah, right? just, just all stress. That. It feels kind of cool. Too. It does feel good. Kind of smooshy and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. hard as you touch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I swear I didn't mean to say. That. Yeah, we need to just keep doing this okay. a little bit. Right, right, right. So I'm going to say this should be enough for the sake of completing our candle. So just take a couple of your ice cubes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start to build up around our wick. Okay. So just straighten your wick. Okay. And then just, wick. yep, straighten your wick. Stand up straight. And take some of your pieces and just start to drop it in there. Oh, okay. And it's Look still, and it's still kind of, um, you know, it's still, this is still in a liquid state, okay. so it's not, it's just going to... I'm just dropping cubes. Okay, you drop the cubes. cubes. And just right around the wick. And then we need to let this set up because it's still a little... And a lot of times, um, what you can do for the sake of waiting, you can pop mm -hmm. these in the fridge if you're doing it at home. Oh, drop the cube. Um, but you can pop it in in the fridge and it'll expedite the hardening of the gel. And put some over there. Oh, you're doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get my sprinkle, sprinkle. Looks I like ice to me. Ice cubes. Yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. Let's put some right over there. Fill that right in there. Because the one thing we want to do, we want to build up around the wick because the wick, the wick needs the gel to burn. So if we don't build it up around the wick, then the candle won't burn. Oh, we need it, it burn. It's not communicating with its stuff. Okay. Communication is key. Yes, it is. So, I would say 
that looks really good. So what we like to do, um, we're stuck with these long wicks and a lot of people say, well, what do you do with the wicks when it's over? Mm -hmm. Well, I like to curl the wicks. Curl the kind of gives it, yeah, the festive. So what I do is I just take the wick and I roll it around the skewer. Is she spiral curling a wick? Yes, yes she I is. am. Yes, I am. Spiral curling curl the wick, wick. girl. <laughs> the is yours. Okay. Thread it up. I'm going to lock and twist. Lock and twist. Lock and twist. And then. And you have an apple martini. Oh, no, apple margarita. Apple Rita. Too many apple margaritas. Right. <laughs> so, would you like to? Beautiful. So now it's your turn to curl. I'm curling. I'm, 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 I'm lock my. Okay. You gotta lock yours. I'm lock mine. Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look at me. Making a candle. Making a candle. Mm -hmm. Oh, the places we will go. Look at me. Twirling. Mm-hmm. Locking so good. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so good. Look at that. You think I've been doing this for years. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I think you probably, I think you Googled this. You knew, <laughs> no. the, you knew to straighten a wick. And a lot of people, they don't even know where to put the wick. And you knew to straighten a wick. So that's pretty impressive. I know my way around the wick. I, I, I see, I see <laughs> that. And you made it stand straight for a long time. That was mm -hmm. good, too. Like a little soldier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. And, and every drink needs a... Okay, we're we'll gonna put a little lime on there. There you go. Little lime. Look at me. Look what I did. Well, look what I did. So, shall we? We shall. Salud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now you look at Apple Readers, and here's what's hot in the city. I mean, monkey farts, I cannot pass this up. Nope. It, okay, it doesn't smell like a fart, but it is absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's it's natural, mm, it's effervescent, and I mean, I couldn't start my day without a good monkey fart. Hello, I'm here today with Natasha Beautiful Thought, who is the host of The Peaceful Poetic. Natasha, thank you so much for being here with us today. Well, thank you. I'm honored. Okay, so you are a fellow poetry host. Yes. And can you tell us a little bit about your series? Okay, my series is called The Peaceful Poetic Place. And it started online on Facebook. And after uh, being in the community for a while, doing open mic, I decided to take that virtual place and make it live. And it consists of Christian, spiritual, inspirational, motivational, um, encouraging poetry with the foundation of myself as a Christian. And so that's the base of, and foundation of my show. I want people to leave refreshed and relaxed. Tell us what one can expect if they physically go to your poetry spot. Okay, well they can expect to come into a place and be transformed into a place of relaxation and positive energy, full of love. Um, we're moving to a new place called the Love Cafe, and it kind of embodies exactly uh, what I want people to experience when they walk in. And that is a warm, comfortable feeling where they almost feel like they're at home, they're home away from home, and they can expect to hear spoken word artists newer poets along with singers. Um, I have a band that comes on a regular basis that for every show. Um, sometimes we also have music, inspirational music, and uh, we always have a raffle to give away to the, the audience so that they can feel like they're leaving with something. And How can someone get in touch with you? Well, they can go to my website and that will connect them with my Facebook and my Twitter, um, Eventbrite to buy tickets. But the website is My Beautiful Thought. Just like the spell, just like the regular spelling, mybeautifulthoughts.com. And do you have any products for sale, books or CDs? Well, I don't have any products or books for sale, but I do have tickets for the show, and that's every first Saturday. So those those tickets are constantly on sale for the next show. And what's the name of the piece that you're going to perform for us today? Well, it's not especially titled, but it's kind of my signature piece. Um, I would call it Soul Inside. Okay, Soul Inside. Ladies and gentlemen, Natasha, beautiful thought.
Behind my glasses, I see people looking at me with envy, but little do they know is that I am just me, and I don't know how to be anybody else. I don't, they, don't, they don't even know what I've been through. They wouldn't even want to walk in my shoes. Couldn't even carry my load in my stilettos. Behind my glasses, I see so many, hoping to God that one day they too will also see. And as I enter the stage, I turn opaque. I'm not fully transparent because God is still working within me. I believe that I will become the color of glass one day, but for right now, they'll have to settle for traces of color. I mean, bits of yellow impurities inside a pretty diamond. I'm trying to be all that he wants, but I confess that this walk it's so much harder than it looks. And I took, I'm taking steps closer towards his face, but I get tired and I sometimes don't feel like running this race. Now you know it's scary those times that you feel all alone and you just want to pick up a phone because we've come to depend so much on modern technology and friends that we forget. It's with our Father in heaven. That's our real home. So I speak affirmations to myself in verse of prose and if it touches someone else's soul only God knows because my poetry is my ministry to me. Sometimes my feet take me places that I wish they wouldn't but yet I want. It's awful heavy to be a hypocrite but yet anointed. It's a heavy sack to carry, a bag at times I wish I could just drop and run away but I don't. And that's why I'm standing right here telling you and sharing you with you that even though a person may talk big and bad, it doesn't mean that they themselves believe their own swag because you know what? They might really be living a lie and it's fear or something else devil inspired that has them living this false pride. And so I urge you listeners, to never ever judge a person by merely their words because you must get to know their soul inside. I'm Beautiful Thought and I give you mine.